Hey Libra, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be for my Libras, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and this reading is going to be a direct love message from your love interest to you. If this reading doesn't resonate, definitely make sure you check out your other placements. So far, I have up Aquarius, Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, and you are next, Libra. After, I think it's Scorpio, if I'm not mistaken. Um... You can check out your other placements or you can book your personal reading through the link in my description box, which is my website. When you book your reading, please keep in mind, readings are sent within a 72-hour time frame. This reading I'm going to do for you guys is inspired from my Monday deal, which is Mini Love Message Mondays. Um, it's $11.11 .11 for that deal. You book it through my Instagram if you'd like to do so or if you'd like to check out my Instagram. It's also in the description box. Even those are 72 hours though even when you deal even when you book the deal through my instagram it is sent within a 72 hour time frame please do not rush me please do not you know constantly email me and dm me about your reading it is sent within a 72 hour time frame i don't know what it is but the past two months past three months it's it's feel like i've been getting harassed about these readings and everywhere on my website and instagram states readings are sent within a 72 hour time frame so please don't be one of those people because you will be refunded and you will be placed on my no bookings list it's came to a point i started losing passion for the personal readings the collective readings candle services i've just been losing my passion because it's just a constant thing that is extremely annoying to deal with so please don't rush me i do provide a rush fee $15.55 to get your reading the same day. But besides that, your reading is not going to be sent the same day. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Alrighty, so let's dive right into this. So Libra, your love interest, direct love message from them to you. The first card that came out is what goes around, comes around. So just based off of that card, your love interest feels like you're doing dirt. Your love interest feels like you're out here thotting and bopping, doing your own thing you know flirting possibly having sex you know your love interest feels like they are not the only one but they're also feeling like it's okay because what goes around comes around and i don't have to go searching for it because it's going to come to the light or i don't have to come searching for it because something is going to happen where it's going to come to the light and you're going to get what you receive so your love interest they feel like you're doing your own thing they feel like you're living a single life but they feel it's okay because karma is going to do its job now the second card is maybe this decision was a mistake now i am going to get some clarification on this but for some of y'all if you and your love interest is constantly on an off and on type of connection like if you guys are constantly breaking up to make up if you guys recently just broke up and decided to get back together and work on things they're beginning to think like okay was this a mistake like should i have just stayed away from my libra they're starting to look at this like mm, this wasn't a good idea to be in this connection they're starting to feel like this wasn't a good idea to be in a, in a love connection with you. Alrighty. Tell me more, please. Tell me more. What else does my Libra's love interest want to tell my Libra? Uh-uh, Cleo. Yeah. No. What else does my Libra's love interest want to tell my Libra's? Okay. One card, please. What else is it that my Libra's love interest wants to tell my Libra's? Goodness gracious. These cards are flying. Ace of Pentacles. What else do they want to tell my Libra's? Okay. This reading isn't going to resonate for everyone. I'm just going to say that straight off rip. This reading isn't going to resonate for everyone. Um, okay, so your love interest, they feel like you are living a single life, right? I don't know if you make good money or if you tend to spoil your love interest. Let's say you guys get in, a, in an argument and you really say something hurtful or you really do something hurtful. I don't know if you tend to try and and apologize with a gift or money but what your love interest wants you to know is that you can save your money your love interest wants you to know that your money does not matter to them that they will move on from you your money is not 
a factor to them. I don't know if your love interest depends on you or if you help them out with their bills or certain things. I don't know if you tend to spoil them when you do wrong. I don't know what it is. You would know better than me. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't, flip it how it needs to be flipped. But your love interest, they want you to know your money doesn't matter to them. They will move on without your money. They will move on from you. They want you to know your money is nothing to them. Chariot here, Sagittarius energy. They want you to know your money does not mean a damn thing to them. Heavy earth sign energy here too as well, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. They want you to know you can keep your money. You can keep your money. What's going on through my Libra's love interest mind? What's going on in their mind? I'm not going to lie. They're thinking about leaving your ass. They really think you're cheating. So if, if you are cheating, for some of y'all, you may just be cheating. And if you are, your love interest, they may not know in the sense of they caught you red-handed, but they may know their intuition may be telling them their intuition may be very strong and it may be telling them like look this your your libra is not being loyal they may not have caught you red-handed yet but they know deep down for the ones that is cheating they know you are cheating for sure without a doubt for the ones that isn't cheating they have an idea they could just be paranoid they could just have uh trust issues they could struggle with trust issues and their mind is playing tricks on them but for the most part whether their mind is playing tricks on them or they are correct and you are cheating regardless of what it is your love interest they feel you are cheating three of cups in reverse they feel like you have other people you're dealing with they feel like when you go out with your friends or when you go out to the bar or clubs or parties um, when you hang out, when you say you're hanging out with your co-workers or your friends or your family members, they feel you're actually with a third party, with someone else, romantically or sexually. With the Five of Pentacles, I'm not going to lie, they may just be getting ready to leave you. So if you guys live together, if they do depend on you, they may be planning their escape. They may be planning getting on their feet to walk away from you. Mm. four of wands reverse it's like they want this with you they want the sun with you they want happiness with you sun leo energy they want a family with you they want to get married to you they want a deeper level of commitment with you but with this king of pentacles reverse they feel like this king of pentacles reverse i just got a channeled message they feel like just because you make good money or you, because you're financially stable or because you have your own business that you think you can cheat and they want you to know that's not the case uh, they feel stuck on you with the hangman they feel stuck on you for some they feel stuck on you because you guys are married or because you guys do have children with one another or because you guys do live with uh each other or because they can see all of that with you and they feel stuck because they want that with you. And they're hoping they can get that with you. But your love interest, for sure, they think you're cheating. Even if you're not, I'm sorry. Your love interest, they feel like they know you're cheating. What is my Libra's love interest current feelings towards my Libra's? One card at a time, please. What is their current feelings towards my Libra's? One card at a time. What is your current feelings? The star Aquarius energy. Are you like in the spotlight or something? Or do you, are you very popular in your city, in your state? Like they view you as the star. And because of that, with the seven of cups, it's like they tend to think very negatively. So if you are popular, they're thinking, okay, well, you know, I know they have a lot of men or a lot of women trying to be with them, trying to mess with them, trying to steal them from me because they have their own business or because they make good money or because they're always a designer. Like your love interest, they view you as a star and they feel like other people view you as a star as well. I'm not too sure if you're actually popular or whatever the case may be, but in their mind, it's like, okay, they have all of this and I know other people want them because of it. 
And honestly, your love interest, let's say you do make good money. Let's say at times you tend to think your love interest may be using you for that money. They're honestly not. Your love interest loves you with the Queen of Pentacles. They want stability with you and not stability as in financial stability. They want emotional stability. They want mental stability. They want a family with you. They want to settle down. They want to be married. Ugh. What is my Libra's... Oh, wow. The whole deck damn near fell. Damn, y'all. What you doing to this person? Because they over here going through it in their brain. They may be showing it. They may not be showing it. But they are going through it in their brain. Their brain is literally just running and running and running with the worst possible thoughts. What is my um, Libra's love interest next action towards my Libra's for the rest of March? What is their next action towards my Libra's for the rest of March? Six of Wands. They may give you a lot more attention than usual. They may even give you a lot of more sex than usual. Like I see they're going to be a lot more attentive and sexual to try and keep you in their, in their grasp, basically. One more card. What is their next action towards my Libras? Clarification on the Four of Swords. So they're actually indecisive on if they're going to do that or if they're going to keep their distance from you. Justice in a reverse Libra of energy. Huh. Clarification on this Two of Swords. Nine of Swords. Okay, so it can go either way. Your love interest, they're very indecisive. They're very confused. This is them staying up late at night, thinking what they should do about the connection, what they should do about you, what they should do moving forward, if they should stay, if they should go. This is your love interest literally losing sleep and stressing over you. For the rest of March, I'm not going to lie, they don't know what they should do. They don't know if, like I said, they should be more attentive than usual more sexual than usual or if they should just distance themselves and just let you be they're indecisive they just want things to play out properly so let's say if you are cheating or in their mind you are cheating so they're like okay i don't want to go fishing for anything i don't want to go searching for anything i just want everything to happen naturally so if they're going to distance themselves from you. They want it to happen naturally. They don't want it to happen because they go searching for something. If they sit there and decide to be um, more affectionate, more sexual, more attentive, they want that to happen naturally. They don't want to do it just because, oh, I think my Libra is cheating, so let me just be on them more. Let me just love on them more to prevent them from leaving or... or uh, make them want me more like they just want everything to happen naturally they don't want to force anything they don't want to feel the need to have sex with you every single night or multiple times a day because they think you're searching for sex in someone else you see what i mean it's like they just want everything to happen naturally if y'all have sex multiple times a day or every night they want that to be something natural because y'all both mutually want to not because they feel oh i have to do that or else they're going to go do that with someone else. They just want everything to happen naturally. So in March, they're definitely going to be indecisive on what actions they should take next with you. I feel like for right now, they may act a little nonchalant, aloof, and distant with you. And it's because their mind is really running. Um, they're really stressing. I'm not going to lie. They are. For some of y'all, this is a channeled message and this is not going to resonate for everyone. So just take it if it fits, leave it if it doesn't. For some of y'all, your love interests, they may tattoo your name on them or something about you on them. And it's going to be their way of, oh, I love you, stay with me. Or like it's, it's going to be their way to show you how much they love you. That's going to be their way of showing you how much they love you. Nah, your love interest is stressing. Let me get some advice for my Libras. Because y'all need it. Let me get some advice for my Libras regarding this love connection. Let me get some advice, please. Because y'all need it real bad. Judgment reverse. You got to make a decision. Even if it's the wrong decision. You got to make a decision. 
One card at a time, please. What is the advice for my Libras regarding this love connection? Six of Swords. You got to make a decision. The hangman. You got to make a decision. If you're going to stay with your person, okay, for the ones that is cheating, if you're going to stay with your person, you got to make a decision on being loyal to them or leaving them point blank period if you're gonna stay with them you got to do better if not your love interest is definitely going to leave you eventually now for the ones that's not cheating you have to smooth things over with your person you have to let them know how you feel how much you love them how much you want to be with them if you see a future with them or not you have to clear the air with this six of swords you have to clear the air with the hangman you cannot leave this hanging you cannot watch this reading and think well i'm not cheating so I'm not going to say nothing or I'm not cheating. So that isn't for me. Like you can't listen to this reading and just think, oh, that's not true. So let me keep going on with my relationship. Sit them down and you don't have to flat out and say, oh, I'm not cheating on you. But just give your person some reassurance. You have to give them reassurance. You have to. You have to. Because it's going to be the same thing for you. Your love interest is eventually going to leave. And in your case, they're going to leave because they think you're cheating. The whole time, you're not even cheating. But they're going to leave you because they're thinking that. So you just, you got to clear the air. For the ones that's not cheating, you got to clear the air. And for the ones that is cheating, you got to you gotta do better because tuh, it's really only a matter of time until you get caught red-handed. They know that. They know that for sure, especially with the what goes around comes around card. They know that it's only a matter of time until you get caught. And whether you get caught or not, your love interest, they're going to plan their escape from you. They're going to plan walking away from you. So you, you got to do better. But this is the end of y'all reading. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for supporting. Make sure you hit that like button. If you'd like, definitely book your personal reading through the link in my description box. Or head over to my Instagram and book one of the deals. I have deals on Mondays and Wednesdays. So make sure you check that out. But thank you for watching, you guys. Have a great day, great night, whenever you see this.